I'm watching this bit. Film Comics Explained. Skynet Terminator Explored. So, it got me thinking on something I said before. What if the writers of Terminator were using multiverse theory? But then, I decided, eh, why talk about that? There's not enough information. There's not enough people saying anything about it right now. So I can wait. But what I can go on about and rattle off like an inane and insane moron. Is it a moron if I'm using simple terms to translate the information from its convoluted state into something that everyone can easily understand. No, but you can definitely still call me an idiot. Uh, let's see. The bit I want to discuss is in Terminator Genesis when Arnold Schwarzenegger's pops said uh, what was it exactly he said I don't remember the exact words of all of it but he was talking about tracking the changes in the, the stream of continuance or the timeline using an exponential growth and decay algorithm Growth and decay in mathematics can be summarized uh, growth as addition, multiplication, and exponents, and folds. Folds are a completely separate beast from exponents and the rest of it all together. A good example of folds is you take a piece of paper and you fold it in half and uh, uh, unfold it. And where the crease is, that's the dividing line. So you've got two halves. So if you fold it twice, and you've got four. It doubles each time. So saying something seven folds is taking it and multiplying it by two seven times. Which is a very even kiln exponential growth. But still that's how folds work. Exponents are completely different. You're taking the individual numeric value and you're multiplying it by itself yay so many times. Which could wind up with greater numeric outcome than just a couple of folds. Do the math yourself. I'm not your math teacher. I'm not getting paid. I'm not even getting ad revenue from YouTube. So, until until payments of some variety go in and people say, Hey, here, do, do more in-depth on this. I'm just going to leave it vague for everyone to figure out on the onesie. And then you have decay which would be subtraction, uh, division, and roots. Square roots and exponents are two halves of one mathematic property, just as well as multiplication and division are two halves of one mathematic property, and addition and subtraction are two equivalent halves of that mathematic property but the, the the thing I think is quantifying all the variables in the equation of continuance and then graphing them out three-dimensionally at the very least for uh, for the purpose of not cluttering up a whiteboard 
and then tracking all the growth and decay factors technically it's not up and down it's it's more along the lines of it shifts off into redundant timeline C off to the left or timeline 32 B over here on the right or it just goes into timeline A26 which would be up here on the top or even some negative number and letter combination at the bottom and it just branches out like tree roots although there are continuing to move forward along some axis <coughs> and then you have people who can jump between timelines whoop well not technically that is a merging of timelines but if you got someone who moves from this timeline or continuance stream I'm just gonna say continuance stream it's much more simple for me because time is irrelevant, a joke, a fallacy. It's a vagary of perception for measuring movement throughout continuance. It's not the fourth dimension. Inertia, movement, momentum, that's the fourth dimension. And that's what's being tracked along these strings of continuance variables in the momentum of things that are happening so continuance stream uh, tracking all of those variables that branch out conically like a cone shape because it's going this way and it's going to branch out with all the probabilities contained in this neat cone shape and that's before you introduce <clears throat> jumping from continuous stream to continuous stream or going further backwards or further forward than the natural flow of continuance at that point then you generate spherical um, influences that um, get more pressed together into like a hemisphere from the, the point you go to and then proceed forward it just compresses and becomes like a big flat hemisphere or half a sphere unless you're dealing with something that is exempt from the natural flow of continuance then it becomes a perfect sphere but I don't think that the terminator continuance streams are dealing with exemptions from the natural flow of continuance if they are dealing with multiverse theory then it renders what I'm saying kind of moot because you have a self-contained bubble of existent reality and you're just jumping from that one into another one where things are slightly different which would render the exponential growth and decay algorithms completely obsolete to begin with unless you're focusing on one or two individual bubbles within the multiverse theory have I just argued my own point of theory completely irrelevant and moot only if they're using multiple continuance stream theory instead of multiverse theory only then would my idea that they're using multiverse theory be rendered completely moot however it is in the movie that it is clearly stated the exponential de growth and decay algorithm to monitor the time streams 
so it definitely sets it up for they are using multiple variables of continuance strings however that doesn't definitively say yes or no to them using multiverse theory in conjunction with that so it's entirely possible all they have to do is have uh, everyone working on the the Terminator series say yeah we're gonna use them both yeah that's all they have to do really to confirm or deny it is just say so I've gotten mildly confused speaking about these things I think it's time for me to end this video before I cause someone cerebral hematoma uh, yeah if you enjoyed leave a like if not leave a dislike if you want to support my drug addiction to alcoholism then throw some fallacy credit my way on PayPal patron whatever links in the description I'll do more dumb shit and have fun with it hopefully someone enjoyed this bye